At this time, I'll call the City of Colleyville Planning and Zoning Commission meeting to order for Monday, June 12, 2023. And I'll start by calling roll. David Groves. Here. Mark Alfonso. Here. Syed Syed. Here. Tim Rain. Absent. Jim Lynn. Here. Claudia Bevel is here. And at this time, um, if you would stand for the invocation and the uh, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the privilege of living in a place where we are free to gather. May we wisely consider the requests before us this evening. Help us to be unified in making the best possible decisions for our citizens as well as our city. Thank you for your guidance and protection on all gathered here this evening. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United United States States of America America, and and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Okay, the first item on the agenda is approval of minutes for the Planning and Zoning Commission meeting May 8th, 2023, and the Planning and Zoning Commission work session minutes for May 22nd, 2023. Um, If the commissioners have any corrections or additions to the minute, please, minutes, let that be known at this time. If not, I would ask for a motion for approval. I so move. Have a motion by Commissioner Lynn. May I have a second? I'll second that. Uh, motion by Commissioner Lynn, a second by Commissioner Gross to approve the minutes as stated. We'll take a vote. Commissioner Gross? Aye. Commissioner Alfonso? Aye. Commissioner Syed? Aye. Commissioner Lynn? Aye. Commissioner Bevel votes aye, and the minutes are approved by a vote of 5 0. Um, the next item on the agenda, um, tabled from May 8th, Planning and Zoning Commission meeting, consideration of a zoning change from PUDC Planned Unit Development Commercial to PUDC Planned Unit Development Commercial Districts, specifically for new commercial offices for Lot 1, Block 1, Sandbar Square Edition, located at 105 Cheeksburger Road, Case ZC23-006. At this time, um, in order to consider this uh, item, I need a motion to remove it from the table. Uh, I move that we remove from the table case ZC 23-006. May I have a second? I'll second that motion. A motion from Commissioner Lynn, a second from Commissioner Gross, to remove this item from the table, we'll take a vote. Commissioner Gross? Aye. Commissioner Alfonso? Aye. Commissioner Syed? Aye. Commissioner Lynn? Aye. Commissioner Bevel votes aye, and the item has been removed from the table. Um, The applicant has requested to table this item once again to the July 10th meeting, 2023. Um, and so uh, we will need to take a vote in order to uh, table it again to that date. I do have a, a citizen who had signed up to speak on this item and um, Miss Atwood because it's going to be tabled again. Uh, we appreciate your coming out tonight and we hope you'll come again and take advantage of your opportunity to address this. Um, so I, at this time, would ask for a motion. Commissioner, I have a question with this staff about yes. this case. Do you exactly know how much time they need, more time to complete their work and bring it to us? So I, I don't. I haven't had a conversation with them on that. Uh, you can see on the request, they just asked to table to the July meeting. Uh, what we'll do is send a an email out to them asking for an update. Um, uh, it's our understanding that they're preparing a, an updated drainage plan, a more detailed drainage plan, so we're assuming that that's still the case. Uh, but we'll try and get that information out. If it looks like they will be wanting to table it again, 
Uh, what we'll do is um, suggest that it be tabled indefinitely so that uh, we're not going to put it back on an agenda until we have all of the information ready to go. And with that, we will then send notices back out to the newspaper as well as to surrounding property owners so that everybody knows exactly when it's going to come back. Uh, but we'll try and get that information between now and our work session in a couple weeks uh, to, to try and stay on top of this to make sure it doesn't just continue indefinitely. Because it's the third meeting that we are tabling that case. We untable it and then table it again. Untable it and table it again. Right. So th the first time it was tabled, it was at the request the from question. the commission. And so this is the second time that they've asked to table it on their own. Um, I typically give them, this is just Three the months. way I do it, too, uh, on their own to table it. Uh, with And with the third one, you know, making sure that... Uh, we do it indefinitely so that we can re-notice that back out to the residents because uh, we want to make sure that after a certain amount of time they tend to forget about what's happening in the process. So I, I like to make sure that we tape, or we send the notices back out again. But they are not in touch with the city staff, correct? Other than Other than the email that came in right as we were preparing the packet to send out to you guys. Um, yeah, so, but we'll... We'll send in. We'll try and make contact with them, uh, definitely before the our work session in two weeks, uh, just to make sure that we have an idea of what's happening and, and to see what their justification is for tabling it. Okay. Okay. All right. So um, what we um, what we have suggested is to table this item to the July tenth meeting. Notices will not be sent out again. Um, if for some reason we don't hear it on the 10th, then it would be tabled indefinitely, as uh, Mr. Briner explained. And at that point then, uh, when, it when it comes back, it would be, new notifications would be sent out. But for tonight, the notification is uh, that the item is being tabled to the July 10th meeting. Okay, so I need a motion for that, please. I make a motion to table case ZC 23-006 for July 10, 2023, Planning and Zoning Commission meeting. Second. <clears throat> okay, I have a motion by Commissioner Syed and a second by Commissioner Alfonso to table this item to the July 10th, 2023 meeting. We'll take a vote. Commissioner Groves? Aye. Commissioner Alfonso? Aye. Commissioner Syed? Aye. Commissioner Lynn? Aye. Commissioner Bevel votes aye, and the item is tabled to July 10th by a vote of 5-0. Um, the next item on the agenda is consideration of a special use permit for a reduction in parking for the property being Lot 1, Block 1 of the Corley subdivision located at 5409 Colleyville Boulevard, zoning case 23-012. At this time, the staff will present the case. Good evening. Um, this is a special use permit request for a reduction in parking for a new business that is um, wishing to locate at 5409 Colleyville Boulevard. Um, it's located here at the corner of Colleyville Boulevard and Church Street. Um, it has CC2, that's shopping center zoning, and it's located within the Colleyville Boulevard corridor um, per the master plan. You can see here it is the um, actually building to the south, um, and here's a better picture from the street view. Um, that used to be a um, Cajun Market Cafe, and this new business would be the Cajun Bistro Cafe and Market. And they just provided kind of a zoning exhibit to show the layout of the site and, and the, um, the business and the parking. Um, here's some aerial uh, photos that kind of show um, on the left is the um, Cajun Bistro Cafe and Market. And then to the right is the um, adjacent bank. And um, they have uh, worked with the bank to obtain um, basically shared parking and a shared parking agreement, which has been provided. Um, and will allow for um, them to use spaces um, when the, the business is in, is in operation there. This is information that is directly out of the land development code that 
um, speaks to the shared parking um, and how a business can obtain a reduction in parking um, with approval by city council with a special use permit. And um, we did some calculations here. So the ratio for parking for a market, um, in this case a fish market, is one space per 200 square feet, which is 12 spaces. Um, we have a higher requirement for parking for restaurants, and that is one space per 100 square feet. So that um, would be 24 spaces needed. And currently located on, um, on the site is 16 spaces. So the required parking is 24. So um, those additional spaces provided by the bank would meet that overall requirement. Um, and the SUP language is located here, and it's specific to the Cajun Bistro Cafe and Market, the name of the business, and the SUP shall automatically expire upon the abandonment of the business, change in use, change in ownership, or upon the expiration or termination of the certific certificate of occupancy. Um, staff did not receive any letters from the adjacent property owners, and staff is neutral on this request. Thank you. Um, is the applicant here? And if so, would you like to come forward and present your comments on the case? <clears throat> Please state your name and address for the record. Yes, good evening. Uh, my name is uh, Robert Martin. I'm at uh, 621 Colleyville Boulevard, South Lake, Texas. Uh, the owner of the establishment is Tim Matafar. His address is 5601 Hidden Oak Drive, Colleyville, Texas. Okay, please speak into the mic so we can so, have it for the record. Tim Miftari. And my address is 5601 Hidden Oak Drive, Colleyville, Texas. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Um, do you have any comments or or well, just to let you all know, ladies and gentlemen, what we're trying to do here is bring something um, that's a little bit unique. It's going to be uh, a market to go. Um, we will have dining to an effect. Um, we're going to cater to a Cajun-style food and barbecue with a twist of pasta. That's what we're looking to do. Um, myself, uh, I would be the operations manager along with the owner. <clears throat> um, we uh, both have a large amount of experience in the food industry. Um, <clears throat> when it comes to barbecue and other stuff on the Cajun, uh, myself, both of my childs were born out of Slidell. So I know the Cajun food quite well. Um, and if, when it comes to barbecue, don't hold it against me, originally from Florida, but I've now resided in Texas. Um, and I have entered in some Texas competitions, um, but in Florida I was uh, 2016 and 2017 best bud of the South. Um, I did recently, <clears throat> two years ago, compete in the Keller exhibit, went against Johnny Treg, and we come in third for our ribs. So we do have a good quality of food that we would love to share with your community and be a part of this. So that's what we're looking for. Okay, thank you, Mr. Martin. Mm -hmm. um, do you currently um, have other restaurants in operation? <clears throat> yes, uh, Mr. Matafari does have two other restaurants. Uh, it's called Triple A Cafe. One is in Carrollton, and the other one is in Fort Worth, which is off of Trinity Boulevard and 360. Okay. Uh, known for its breakfast and lunch. Okay. Uh, they've been in operation for approximately, what? Almost three years. Yeah, almost three years. Okay. Both locations? Yes. Okay. Okay. And the menu is different, though, for the, for those restaurants, different yes. from what this one will be? Yes, totally different. Okay. But we, we do use quality food. I mean, we're not going to, not to sit here and bash anyone else's restaurant, but we use top high-end quality food. Okay, great. Uh, well, we appreciate the fact that you would like to come to Colleyville. Um, also, there was previously a Cajun market there. And um, so I'm, I'm wondering, since that one wasn't able to sustain itself, if you've, why you've chosen 
to to kind of follow that same path at this location? Well, we didn't really choose to follow that same path. Um, it's just a knack that we see. I mean, I can't speak for the individual that was there before. Mm -hmm. I don't know his techniques. I don't know what he's done. But looking at the history that uh, Mr. Modifier has, um, he does have two successful businesses. Okay. Um, and that's what we're looking to do. I mean, can I sit here and tell you all that we're going to succeed? I mean, if that's the case, then uh, let me tell you what the lot of numbers are here in a couple of days. <laughs> you know, I mean, we, we aim, you know, to make it work. Um, we're going to go after uh, several of the schools, football communities, um, and maybe one time, hopefully, we could cater for you all. Um, but our focus is going to focus on catering in that. Um, so that's where I would like to leave it at Okay. That. Is the barbecue going to be the primary draw, or will it be uh, more of the seafood type, or both? It'll kind of be a mixture of both. Okay. Um, mainly, um, what we really want to focus on is to, to go orders, catering and the market, you know, to, uh, we're going to have several, uh, freezers and items to sell for people to come and get that you can't find in a local market, or maybe mm -hmm. you can't get at a discounted rate because we buy in such mass quantities. I see. Okay. Well, of course, we want you to succeed too. That's, right. that's the reason we're asking the questions. Yes. Yes, ma'am. We, that, that would be. Uh, you know, a real asset to the city. So um, do the commissioners um, have questions for the gentleman? Do you have a plan to increase the retail area or have more seatings as compared to before? Because uh, I believe two or three freezers, standalone freezers they have for uh, seafood. Mm-hmm. And uh, one or two shelves for spices or uh, seafood mixes, Cajun mixes, stuff like that. Do, I, do you have a plan to put more fresh produce or seafood or meats as well? Uh, that will be a little of everything, but more fresh. Uh, and then a lot of it's going to be also... Like fresh produce or, or the... Freezer fresh, stuff. fresh, fresh seafood that's sealed and packaged, um, mainly, or you can buy it fresh of the day as well. You know, it may be, it may be fresh fish of the day. It may be fresh shrimp of the day, depending on what it is. But also, it'll be in some places. Places we may have it uh, where it's vacuum sealed correctly. Tell you ingredients, how to go home, cook it, put it in, boom, you have an instant meal. You know, for people who are always on the run. I have another question. Are you using the the previous uh, equipments they had, or you are bringing everything new, the seating and uh, the kitchen equipments, everything? Uh, it's some equipments there now, but the seating and everything gonna be new, right? And whatever it can be used in the back, and it's in good condition, will be used. What not, it'll be new. But the presentation, uh, we want to make it look a lot more presentable than what it was. Uh, yeah, because that shop was a very small for a sit-down restaurant. And if you have planned to add more retail space, it would be more, uh, you know, less space for seating. Correct. Uh, about how many diners would be able to accommodate at one, at one time? How many people? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how many tables, how many people? Or... Uh, what do we figure? Like 20, 22, 24 the most. Yeah. Okay. And uh, BYOB, or do you anticipate coming back for uh, for alcohol sales at some point in the future? Uh, maybe I, we would look at that in the future. Uh, right now, it would be BYOB. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. sure. Are there other questions? And what would be the timings of the restaurant? I'm sorry? What would be the timing? The hours. 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 It'll be 11 to 9. Every day? Either six or seven days. Yeah. Sunday closed. Excuse uh, me? Uh, it, it, it would be Sunday closed or some other day? 
I uh, it could be either Sunday or maybe a Monday. We haven't figured that one out. Okay. But more than likely, it would be open six days a week with okay. one day off. Other questions? Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, at this time, I'm going to, I don't have any cards, but I'm going to open up a, a public hearing so that if anyone wants to come forward and comment or ask questions concerning this case, you may do so at this time. The public hearing is open. Seeing no one, I will close the public hearing. Public hearing is closed. Is there further discussion with the commissioners or questions for staff? Okay, if not, then I would ask for a motion. I move that we approve case ZC23-012. Seconded the motion. Okay, I have a motion by Commissioner Gross and a second by Commissioner uh, Syed to approve case ZC23-012. Take a vote. Commissioner Gross. Aye. Commissioner Alfonso. Aye. Commissioner Syed. Aye. Commissioner Lynn. Aye. Commissioner Bevel votes aye. And the uh, case is approved by a vote of 5-0. I do not have any cards for the uh, citizen comments portion of our meeting. Um, however, I will open a public hearing in case someone would like to speak. Public hearing is open. Seeing no one come forward, I'll close the public hearing. Public hearing is closed. And with no further business, the meeting is adjourned. Second shortest one. Go <laughs> <laughs> for ice cream. <laughs> second, second shortest one on record.